guys i am lanikia and you are watching what happened on the soaps this is uh the bold and the beautiful edition all right guys let's go ahead and get into it um first of all we see okay poppy and what's her name uh, luna talking right and she's like wanting to know how her date went with bill and all that you know what until there's some real movement in that storyline with bill and luna and poppy and all them i'm not that interested in it but <laughs> like i get it i get it but i'm sorry mila is making her um she's going through her animals so right now she's an owl um so he, they're just going through every they're I, I, they're just going through the motions right now for me with this storyline so until they get some actual movement with it i'm cool but anyway so she's telling her about her date and all that and then they were going to sit down and go to lunch but then luna got gets an invitation that says meet me in one of the rooms for lunch and she's like oh my gosh but look i can't wear this it's probably gonna be fancy i said okay girl so poppy and luna go through and they pick out pick her out a dress from one of forrester creations i ain't like the dress too much um i don't know i was just like I, I, you know what but i'm not gonna hate on it because i do like that forrester is putting their girls in the dresses again you know like yes y'all are supposed to be a fashion house give us fashion so i'm not gonna hate on it too much but everybody's wearing these anyways let's move on so she's like okay i'm about to go so then we see that zenday she gets ready and she's headed up to go meet um rj because you know she got the invitation who else would be sending her invitation to come have an intimate lunch with them right so then we see rj and um zenday in the eric's office and they they're fussing because rj is like zenday i want you to be a part of this collection too and zenday is like i you know y'all can sit up here and tell me listen i was helping granddad because he was sick and he didn't want anyone to know and that's why i was helping him and and zenday is just like yeah yeah i hear all that and the most important thing is that granddad is all right is all right but i'm telling you also that i don't like the fact that you just got to swoop in and now you're you got this big line and you're gonna be the head of it no way he was like and we all know that you're, they're doing this because you're the golden child ridge's child ridge's son and everything and so i believe it's ridge's son with brooke is what really he's trying to say but i could be wrong but he was like you're the golden child and everything not only did you help granddad now you're gonna take over this huge line and he was like you didn't even want to do fashion I, you know what zenday is going about this the wrong way but i do understand what zenday is saying i i completely get it he was like you know how long y'all gonna make zenday pay his dues until he gets something like this i'm just saying so rj said listen i was trying to be understanding uh with you but you don't want to hear my side of it so i'm done trying to be understanding you know i'm gonna do this line i wanted you to come on and help but it is what it is i'm gonna do it anyways so i'm out and so zenday had this look on his face i said now zenday what have you done so luna goes in right so okay so then rj goes to the hospital i said well he said i have somewhere i need to be and rj goes to the hospital and i said this where you need to be i thought you had a day with luna and he tells um the nurse where's his granddad his granddad's getting tested she said he would love if you would stick around it was like yeah i'm gonna stay i'm gonna wait on him or whatever so that's that they, they that's where rj is so then luna comes into you know the the little meeting room where she's supposed to be having this intimate date right and she's like um baby why did this girl check her breath it was a little tart and she brings out a a, a mint not even wrapped or anything <laughs> i said girl you just threw an unwrapped mint in your purse and can't come let's go <laughs> and if your breath was that tart you should have went and got a toothbrush <laughs> i'm just saying i'm not the only one who be thinking stuff like this when they're watching soaps let's move on let's move on so anyways she going she doing all that right and so the next thing we see um uh the next thing we see is she she's like where is uh, 
where is RJ? And she, Zende comes through, right? All dressed up. And she was like, um, Zen, Zende, hey. And he was like, hello, Luna, or whatever. And she was like, yeah, what are you doing here? And, 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 you know, I'm waiting on RJ. I was supposed to meet him for lunch. He said, oh, that invitation um, to come to, you know, the lunch or whatever. And she was like, yeah. He was like, I'm going to be happy to, um, that was for me. And I'm going to be happy to have this lunch with you. I said, now, Zende, um, was there not another way Zende could have done this? Like, not making it so obvious I, like could he not try to be friends with the girl and then slowly work you know what i mean be friends with her and slowly work her into liking him does that make sense instead of him like unless you're gonna blackmail her she's about to tell her boyfriend what you're doing I, I i mean it doesn't make sense to me i don't know i don't know y'all tell me what you think i, I bold could do a little better on this storyline that's all i'm saying they could do a little bit better on this storyline let's move on uh, let's move on so then we go over here right and steffi is you know getting stuff ready at the forester creations and everything but her mind keeps going back to thomas and steffi she believes her brother but a part of her is concerned about what zende has said um about thomas a part of her is concerned because when it comes to hope she knows that thomas will do anything to keep hope and to you know to be with her because he he's been in love with her for years and so she uh, as much as she wants to trust and believe thomas there is a part of her that's just like there is a part of her that's just like, oh gosh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And so then we see that Xander um, is thinking about his conversation with Finn and everything. So we see all this going on. And then we go to Finn actually being with Thomas and Thomas um, telling Finn, you know, they're going through the whole thing about Finn telling Thomas, you're not good enough for hope. She needs to be with somebody who's sane. And I don't care what they say. I don't care how much Stephanie them trust you. I don't trust you. I see right through you, Thomas. Because you know Finn told Thomas the other day, are you trying to threaten me? Or whatever. So Finn is just like, I see through you, Thomas. I already know that you're not well. You're not mentally well. And everybody else might be thinking you're, you're doing better. But I don't believe it. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't believe it either. I think one little thing from Hope um, and Thomas is one little thing from hope as far as her telling him she doesn't want him and thomas obsession with her is going to go through the roof again but i don't even blame thomas for that i blame hope because you should have left the man alone but anyway so they're going back and forth with it and um thomas is telling finn we're family you should be on my side we're family zende is talking crazy he said well i don't know if he is or not but i don't 100 trust you you know, I don't know anything about Z Zenday. Am I saying Zenday? I'm sorry, y'all. I meant Xander. I don't know anything about Xander, but I know I don't trust you. So we're just going to have to see how this goes. Um, because I, you're not well. And I know what you need to be doing is trying to get help for yourself instead of running after this relationship with hope. Now, that's not what he said, but that's what I heard. So Xander is, excuse me. So Thomas is telling Finn, Xander has xander i don't know why he came back to cause this trouble and he said no xander was shocked when he realized who i was so i don't think he came back to cause trouble but once he realized who um i was he wanted me to warn he wanted to warn me about you but at the end of the day finn thomas wants finn on his side he says no i'm not going to stop warning hope about you i'm not going to stop doing any of that because you're dangerous so he ends up leaving and Xander comes in and he talks to Finn and he says, um, that, you know, they talk about, oh, I didn't think I was going to see you again. And he said, well, seeing that, you know, who you were married to, it did throw me for a loop. He said, and now I see, you know, hope is really close to, to Thomas. And I can't believe that after what he did, he said, but if you don't believe anything else, I say, you got to believe Thomas is dangerous. You don't understand that man is dangerous he threatened me 
He was like, you you just don't know him. He was like, so I keep your guard up. And I think what they're going to end up doing is going and investigating how Emma died again. Because he said, I know there wasn't enough evidence to um, put Xander away. Like there's no reasonable, it, you know, there was reasonable doubt. Um, there wasn't enough concrete evidence. What did he say? I can't remember exactly how he said it. Um, there was, it wasn't beyond a reasonable, reasonable doubt. He said, but I'm telling you, he did it. They just couldn't prove it. Um, and so he was like, Emma was a good person and she didn't deserve that. And Thomas was so obsessed with hope that he would have done anything to keep her away from, um, to keep Emma away from exposing him so that he could continue to be with hope. You need to be careful around him. So of course, Finn, he already doesn't trust Thomas. So he's taking this all in. And so then Thomas goes over and he sees Steffi and he tells her he had, he had a talk with Finn and he caught Finn telling um, hope that he was dangerous and he should, I said, baby, okay so he, he he caught finn telling hope that he was dangerous and she deserves better and she said what you want me to argue against what finn said and he was like you're my sister i need like i think i'm in love with hope and i think she can be in love with me and i said oh lord steffi talk to the boy because you know hope is not in love with that man he said, so I'm just asking you to tell Finn to back off so me, hoping I can have a chance. Wouldn't it be great for Douglas? I said, every time he wants to win them over, he always brings Douglas into it every single time. But anyways, he's like, wouldn't it be great for Douglas for him to see, um, to have his parents together? He would love that and, you know, yada, yada, yada. And Steffi is just she wants to believe thomas but i don't think she i think she's concerned she's really concerned on this whole you know thomas obsession with hope i feel like she can see it coming back and so she's like i i don't know i, I don't know what to do because she was like i you want me to convince my husband that you're good but she's not 100 percent sure that he is and so that's where where they are now mila if you keep breaking that up so i don't know y'all y'all tell me what you think it was actually a good episode and i brought in a little bit of from the other um episodes too um yeah the whole poppy thing i'm done with the review now the whole poppy thing i'm not concerned about that y'all at all i'm just gonna be honest with y'all i don't care <laughs> i don't care about that at all because i feel like um this storyline is about to take some twists and turns just to end up back with her being um luna being bill's daughter and then this whole zenday with um luna like y'all could at least like made them try to have some kind of a relationship or something before y'all started that out but i don't know y'all y'all tell me what you think and i will see you tomorrow sorry i was a little bit um distracted today and this is really all the time i have because i picked up another um y'all know during the holidays i always like to pick up a, another job and so i picked one up and um so i don't have as much time as i thought i was gonna be to do this but it is what it is i will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel bye